Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video we will discuss what is the function of baffles and what are its types. So as we know what is the function baffle in the heat exchanger. So baffle is used to support tubes in the heat exchanger and which reduced the mechanical vibration and leakages and failures near tube sheet. Then it also enhances heat transfer by directing the flow through the shell in the desired pattern which increases the turbulence and reduces the stagnant area in the heat exchanger. Then in the heat exchanger baffles must overlap at least one tube row in order to provide adequate tube support and they should be spaced evenly throughout the tube bundle to provide even fluid velocity and pressure drop at each baffled tube section. Then next question. What are the types of baffles? So there are various types of baffles. But basic types of baffles are Longitudinal baffle and transverse baffle. So what is longitudinal baffles? These baffles are arranged such that they are parallel to the axis of the shell. It is used to control the overall flow direction of the shell fluid. Such that a desired overall flow arrangement of the two fluid streams is achieved. That means it acts as a partition for shell side fluid. And hence shell side fluid pass through the shell two times. Then Transverse baffles are arranged such that they are perpendicular to the axis of the shell. So various transverse baffles used are like segmental baffle, disc and ring baffles, and orifice baffles. Out of these the segmental baffles are most commonly used. Then there are mostly three types of segmental baffle, which are single segmental, double segmental and triple segmental baffle. Out of this the single and double segmental baffles are most frequently used because they divert the flow most effectively across the tubes and hence they provide maximum heat transfer for a given pressure drop in a minimum amount of space. But what is meant by single segmental, double segmental and triple segmental baffle? So the single segmental baffle is mostly used in shell and tube heat exchanges. And it is mostly used in oil refining and chemical engineering devices. Then the single segmental baffle can be classified into Horizontal cut, vertical cut, rotated cut baffles. So when the height of the baffle is 75% of the inside diameter of the shell. It is called as 25% cut segmental baffle. And 25% cut segmental baffle is the optimum which one giving good heat transfer rates without an excessive pressure drop. Then the next type of segmental baffle is double segmental baffle. So in double segmental baffle, the baffle plate is cut in such way that we get two parts that are center baffle and a split baffle. And there will be a small overlap between the center baffle and split baffle. And in this overlap minimum one tube row can adjust. Hence it is very useful in large tube bundle than smaller ones. These baffles split the shell side flow in two currents around each second baffle. Due to this velocity of fluid decreases. And hence pressure drop also decreases. And also reduced vibrational risk. In triple segmental baffle. The baffle plate cut in such a way that. We get three parts. That is one center baffle and two split baffle. In triple segmental baffles, all the tubes are supported by all the baffles, which provide low pressure drops and minimum tube vibration. Now let's see the next type of transverse baffle, which is disc and ring baffle, which is also called as disc and donut baffle. So disc and ring baffles are composed of Alternating outer rings which is also called as donut shaped baffle and inner discs which directs the flow radially across the tube. It is occasionally used and usually the disc should be larger than the donut hole. With disc and donut baffles, the discs offer no support for the central tubes unless braced to the shell. 
sometimes the minimum clearance between the tubes and the edges of the holes in the segmental or disc and donut baffles is 1% of the tube diameter but since the tube may have a diameter tolerance of 2% the maximum clearance may be 3% and consequently some fluid will flow through these clearances now let's see the next transverse baffle which is orifice baffle in the orifice baffle shell side fluid flows through the clearance between tube outside diameter and baffle hole diameter these baffles are rarely used because they are the least efficient and they cannot be cleaned when plugged with dirt and scale the orifice type of baffle should fit the shell closely to prevent leakage and the baffles are placed fairly close to give frequent changes in the velocity this type should not be used for fluids that rapidly foul the outer surface or where corrosion or erosion is likely to cut the tubes in a variation of the orifice type alternate baffles have orifices for one half the number of tubes and support the other half so keep watching in the next video we will see next topic related to heat exchanger if you like my video Please like share and subscribe to my YouTube channel